What's going on, Godzilla Nation? This is our Godzilla. Round seven is upon us. It's time to get our tips in. But before we get started, we've got to look at the week that was. There was some carnage, some big carnage. I only tipped five correct tips for the weekend. Having a look back, I haven't been reflecting on the picks that I have made. So we're going to start doing that from now on. First game, we went with the Bulldogs. I think that was pretty self-explanatory. The margin of 23 points at one point was looking good. And then the Bulldogs just put the foot down and ran away with the game. Then we go to GMHBA Stadium. And I thought West Coast were going to upset. And I was upset by the end of the game. Because we were looking down the barrel of close enough to 100 points in the way of Geelong. Which really shocked me. The shocks continued. And Gold Coast knocked off Sydney by 40 points. I don't know whether the wheels have started to fall off at Sydney. I don't know whether you can say that or not. But I argue Tom Hickey was in all-Australian form. And to lose a Ruckman of that calibre to what he's been delivering, it hurts a little bit. It really does. I don't know whether Lance Franklin being in the forward line would have helped as well. But um, that definitely came as a shock. And then to round things out for Saturday night, with the shocks at least... Brisbane getting up over Carlton was something that we predicted. But Richmond being belted by Melbourne was something I did not see coming. Especially with the start Richmond had. And you could argue as much as you want to that Dusty missing half a game, Kane Lambert missing half a game, Dylan Grimes ended up on the bench for the last quarter. No excuses, because prior to those injuries, Dustin Martin had stuff all of the ball. Melbourne was just a way better team. I find it hilarious that Sportsbet have, have already paid out on Melbourne to win the Premiership when I believe the Bulldogs have been the more superior team for the first six rounds and hasn't been paid out. I don't know. They've only been paid out since they beat Richmond. So if the Bulldogs get up this week against Richmond, do they get paid out as Premiership favourites? I don't know. But that continues the carnage that has been seen on Saturday. Saturday this year has been the day where the most upsets have come out of and this was no different and then we roll on to the final final four games where Fremantle over North Melbourne was all but a uh, formality Hawthorne over Adelaide I said that game would be close I also said Essendon Collingwood was a 50-50 and I was incredibly tempted to tip Essendon and I probably should have and then Port Adelaide rounded out things that were uh, to be expected as well so I missed four there was one person in the tipping this week and they made it known to me all weekend after every game that tipped 9 out of 9. One person only. That person was my brother Corey who has now moved up to 5 overall. This is bullshit. And I think I'm somewhere all the way down near 30 I'm pretty sure. Yeah I'm 30th. Which is ridiculous. 30th puts me seven tips behind Vince in first spot, who is now taking the lead by one. I um, don't think I'm going to be catching this year, unless everybody falls over. But it was a bad week. It was a good week for some, bad week for myself. However, let's just forget about the week that was. Let's tip the week that will be. Round seven. I've already tipped my gauntlet team. I don't know whether it appears team has been selected. I have selected Melbourne over North Melbourne as my gauntlet tip. For the first round, well, the first game of the round, rather, MCG Friday night, Richmond taking on the Bulldogs. <sighs> I'm tipping the Bulldogs. There's a couple of things here that you've got to take into account. Richmond aren't going to be full strength. Bulldogs aren't full strength as well. They're not going to have Tim English, no Josh Dunkley. But Richmond with no Dustin Martin, no Lambert, no Nick Floston, no Dion Prestia, no Ivan Soldo. I think those players missing are going to be more critical to Richmond losing than Dunkley and Tim English will be. And I think the Bulldogs have been far superior. I'd like to see these teams go head to head because if Richmond does win, I don't want it to be the case of, oh, but you defeated Bulldogs without Josh Dunkley and without Tim English because the conversation will never be Richmond won without Dustin Martin. It'll be they beat the Bulldogs who had some players out. That's that's what I feel anyway. That's the conversation that probably had. 
I'm tipping the Bulldogs. I would love to see Richmond get up. I don't think it's going to happen. We're going by 34 points because I think the Bulldogs are going to uh, give us a bit of a touch-up. It sucks. But um, that means we would have lost four of the last five games, Richmond. And we've really got to start turning things around, if I'm being completely honest. Let's move on to Saturday. Collingwood versus the Gold Coast. I'm tipping the Gold Coast. Shock, I know. But from what I saw from them against Sydney compared to what I saw from Collingwood against Essendon, I think Gold Coast are far miles ahead. Miles ahead of what Collingwood have been dishing up. Gold Coast have been playing some good teams and sticking around, whereas Collingwood, they seem to drop off a little bit. I think this is, this will be my upset of the round as well. Gold Coast over Collingwood, because given the odds, Gold Coast aren't the favourite. But I'm willing to back them in this week against the Pies, because the, uh, the train is definitely derailing down at Collingwood. At Adelaide Oval, we have the Giants taking on Adelaide Crows, I think. I think the Giants are going to get up here. They've uh, they've started improving a hell of a lot, GWS. They're looking the goods now. Adelaide, a valiant effort against uh, Hawthorne. 15 goals straight before their first blemish. It's a real. This one is a real 50-50 coin toss. I'm going to back GWS in, but Adelaide could, uh, could prove me wrong completely. Marvel Stadium has Hawthorne taking on St. Kilda. Both teams have been thereabouts. As you can see, 15th v 16th. I'm tempted to go St. Kilda here, but Hawthorne just looking at what they did on the weekend. St. Kilda's been struggling. Let's go with the Hawks. you got to roll the die sometimes, ladies and gentlemen. Especially when you're as far back as I am with the tips. Two more games. To round out Saturday, Brisbane taking on Port Adelaide. This is going to be a cracking game. It's at the Gabba. I'm going to go with Port Adelaide because I think Lockie Neal missing, even though he hasn't really been at his best for the first six weeks. No Lockie Neal in the middle is going to make that midfield look incredibly interesting. I think Port Adelaide have looked the better team all year compared to Brisbane. And they should get a comfortable win here. Four or five goals. That's what I'm backing anyway. And Saturday rounds out at the SCG with Sydney taking on Geelong, and I'm going Geelong. Off the back of almost 100 points against West Coast, I'm scared to see what they're going to do to Sydney. I'm incredibly scared. Sunday has three games. The first is at Blumstone Arena, North Melbourne taking on Melbourne, and it's hard not to pick Melbourne. They're going to go 7-0. And after what I saw last week, we could... We were still in that game. Richmond just dropped the ball completely and lost at their own game. Melbourne were very Richmond-like with the way they kept surging the ball forward. You can shut Melbourne down. And it's easy to do. Unfortunately, we couldn't do it. I don't think North are going to do it either. That's why they're paying 15 bucks to win. Melbourne are going to win quite comfortably. Could be down the barrel of 10 goals. MCG, Essendon, Carlton. Surprise, Carlton's the favourite to win this one, given how Essendon just played on the weekend. I'm going to go with Essendon. I'm going to go with Essendon. Based on the fact of what they did over the weekend against Collingwood, who, even though they have underperformed compared to Carlton, Collingwood have a better team than what Carlton do, just my opinion. And I think Essendon should capitalise on that fact. Although, for my Carlton supporting fans, I would love to see Carlton get up and get another one. And then Optus Stadium rounds out with the uh, the Derby. I'm going to be tipping West Coast, but Fremantle, there's going to be a big belief in Fremantle with all the wins they've racked up so far this year. And players like Mundy getting off the chain like he has, I wouldn't discredit them. So rounding out my tips and having a quick look over them, I have tipped some upsets this week. Bulldogs, Gold Coast, GWS, Hawthorne, Port Adelaide, Geelong, Melbourne, Essendon, and West Coast. I've only tipped two home teams. So I'm hoping the away teams this week can get it up. 
Hey, I'm getting some good return odds for the bet too. I might have to put some cheeky money on that. See if I can't turn 10 bucks into 1500. But that's it for the video. Thank you for joining me again. Fingers crossed I can get it done. I was looking at getting a podcast out this week. I'm going to try and get it out for next week instead. Just some things have been happening with uni and whatnot that have taken up my time. I apologize, but it is something that I'm still looking at getting to some of you because you mentioned in the previous video you would like to see that kind of stuff and some of my international viewers would like to learn a little bit more of the game. So I think it is something I'm going to definitely bring to you all. If you could do myself a favor and leave a like on the video, it goes a long way to supporting the channel. If you want to support me a little bit more and you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget as well, if you are one of the 60 people in my comp and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you are because you'll be ineligible for prizes if you aren't. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. Good luck to your teams this weekend. And as always, I will catch you guys next time. Continue.